It's about here, as I bite down on that piece of chocolate, looking down the lens of a drone turning to play an organ for the first time in my life with the brain scanner in my head that I realised I wasn't exactly sure what it was I was looking for. I was in the Colson Hall, playing with how music affects flavour, trying to recreate some scientific experiments I'd read about, and to be fair, I had moderate success with frequency. So the higher the tone, the sweeter the chocolate tasted, and the lower the frequency, the more bitter it became, but what that means for writing music for food, I'm not entirely sure. Potentially that a bass drop might make chocolate taste darker, but in terms of emphasising different flavour groups or melodies, I'm still none the wiser. I brought along the brain hat in the hope of being able to see whether the output of my brain increased when I ate chocolate and played music together, which might help me in turn understand whether the music I make or the food I cook improve one another. But I must confess, I'm no neuroscientist, and the raw data of the brain scanner only tells you so much, but we can still have a look at it anyway. So there's my brain in all its late 90s CGI glory. You can see from that red flashing light, I didn't actually stick it on my head correctly. But you can also see output surge as I eat the chocolate. And that's what that great big flash was. And look how many different parts of the brain are engaged as a result. Interestingly enough, a similar thing happens when I start playing music here. But what this actually means is a complete mystery to me. So I've concluded from this experiment that I definitely need the help of professionals. I've contacted Professor Chris Alford, Dr. Tim Senior, and DJ Yoda to see if they can give me a hand. 